You have to. Floyd Mayweather's in the hospital, and it's shocking to see a legendary retired boxer in such a state. What happened? Mayweather got into a brutal altercation with his former protege, Gervonta Davis. Davis unleashed a devastating uppercut that Mayweather clearly underestimated. The force of the punch has left Mayweather with a serious head injury, landing him in the hospital. Mayweather, a name synonymous with boxing greatness, is no stranger to being at the center of attention, especially when it comes to public altercations. Known for his undefeated record and flamboyant personality, Mayweather often finds himself in the spotlight, whether he's in the ring or out. Recent reports have added yet another chapter to his storied career, this time involving a minor altercation with a fan during a charity event in Mexico. While the incident was brief, it has sparked considerable interest and discussion among fans and the media alike, given Mayweather's high-profile status and his history of controversies. The charity event, which was intended to bring together fans and supporters in a positive atmosphere, took an unexpected turn when Mayweather found himself in a tense situation. As he was moving through the autograph area, interacting with attendees and fulfilling the duties of a celebrity guest, something went wrong. The details remain somewhat unclear, but it appears that a misunderstanding between Mayweather and a fan escalated into a physical confrontation. Despite the chaotic nature of such events, where emotions often run high, this particular incident quickly caught the attention of those present. And now, the boxing world is met with the shocking news of an intense altercation between Floyd Mayweather and his former protege, Gervonta Davis. This clash, however, is nothing like the minor scuffles Mayweather has been involved in before. This time, the stakes were much higher and the outcome far more dramatic. In an unexpected twist, Davis emerged as the victor in this brawl, leaving Mayweather, the undefeated champion and one of the most formidable figures in boxing history, lying in a hospital bed. Everyone can see that the animosity between the two is high, and it's no secret that their relationship has deteriorated beyond repair. For those who might not be familiar with the history, Davis has openly claimed that Mayweather, once his mentor and promoter, took a drastic step to sever ties by barring him from training at his gyms. This act wasn't just a minor inconvenience for Davis, but it was a clear signal that the bond between them was shattered. Gervonta Davis surprised many when he announced that he would be training at Floyd Mayweather's gym to prepare for his highly anticipated bout at the T-Mobile Arena. The decision raised quite a few eyebrows, especially given the well-documented tension between Davis and his former mentor. Why, many wondered, would Davis choose to train at one of Mayweather's gyms when their relationship had soured so publicly? The answer, it seems, lies in Davis's desire to make a statement, one that goes far beyond simple training. For Davis, it was a calculated insult directed squarely at Mayweather. Choosing to prepare for one of the biggest fights of his career in Mayweather's own gym, Davis was sending a clear message. He doesn't need Mayweather's approval or support to succeed. In fact, it's as if Davis is saying that he can train anywhere, even under the roof of someone who once doubted him and still emerged victorious. However, what Davis hadn't anticipated was Mayweather's swift response. Recognizing the implications of allowing Davis to train in his gym, Mayweather made it clear that Davis wasn't welcome. Without the necessary permissions, Davis found himself barred from the premises, his plans effectively thwarted. What could have been a powerful statement and a well-placed jab at Mayweather's legacy instead became a missed opportunity. Davis, stripped of the chance to execute his prank, was forced to return to his proper training grounds, leaving behind the hopes of turning Mayweather's gym into his battleground. Now, since Mayweather's now in the hospital, his highly anticipated potential rematch against his beaten opponent, John Gotti III, will have to be postponed. There has been considerable talk about Mayweather making a comeback from retirement to face Gotti once again. Unlike their previous encounter, which was merely an exhibition match, the rematch was slated to be a full-fledged professional bout, promising a more intense and competitive showdown. So, what exactly went down during that first match? The bout, which was an eight-round exhibition with no judges, was expected to proceed smoothly, without any major issues or surprises. The trouble started even before the fighters could square off in the ring. The match was delayed as Mayweather's security team found themselves forced to intervene and clear out Gotti's corner. The delay, while frustrating for some, seemed to have no impact on Mayweather. In fact, it almost appeared to fuel his focus. 
From the moment the bell rang, Mayweather took control, showcasing the skill and precision that had made him one of the greatest boxers of all time. His dominance was evident from the start as he effortlessly outmaneuvered Gotti, landing punches with a speed and accuracy that left his opponent struggling to keep up. As the rounds progressed, it became increasingly clear that Gotti was out of his depth. Despite his determination and grit, he simply couldn't match Mayweather's technical ability. Mayweather, with his trademark defensive brilliance, dodged and countered with ease, making Gotti look amateurish in comparison. Now, this tension eventually boiled over into a mass brawl, leaving everyone questioning how it reached such a chaotic conclusion. The setting was charged from the start, with Mayweather stepping into a hostile Florida crowd that was heavily in favor of John Gotti. As I mentioned earlier, tensions were already running high before the fight, and these simmering frustrations boiled over during the contest. Referee Kenny Bayless issued warnings to both Mayweather and Gotti for trash-talking and abusive language in the middle rounds, but his admonitions seemed to have little effect. The animosity between the fighters continued to escalate, ultimately contributing to the chaotic turn of events that followed. This intensity continued until the sixth round, when Bayless had no choice but to call off the fight. This decision triggered Gotti to charge at Mayweather, igniting a massive brawl. Members of both camps rushed into the ring, exchanging punches and escalating the chaos. The situation quickly spiraled out of control before Mayweather and Gotti were eventually escorted out of the ring by security. The departure of both fighters did little to quell the violence, as further brawls erupted both inside and outside the ring. The chaos continued unabated, prompting Mayweather's team to urgently appeal to the remaining fans, urging them to leave the venue peacefully and avoid any additional violence. And here we are now. The two are set to face off once again. The rematch is scheduled for August 24th in Mexico City. However, there are lingering questions about whether the fight will proceed as planned, given Mayweather's recent health issues. There have been no updates on his condition or confirmation from doctors about his ability to compete against Gotti. Fans are still waiting for official word on whether Mayweather will be cleared to fight. However, Gotti insists that the match should proceed as scheduled. He is eager to secure the victory that eluded him in their first encounter. Although the previous fight was just an exhibition, Gotti believes he can claim a win over Mayweather. With the rematch set for the approaching date, Gotti is determined to make that long-awaited victory a reality. I want the fight to proceed as scheduled. I believe someone as strong as Mayweather wouldn't let a situation like being in the hospital get in the way of us fighting. He's tough and I expect nothing less from him. Now, with Mayweather currently in the hospital following his altercation with Davis, do you think he will be able to fight against Gotti? Please let me know in the comments below.